gotten asked about four times so far this year about if I top my peppers. And I don't. And here, I'm going to show you why. So, um, you can see on this ring of fire, which is a cayenne, I've pruned it. And uh, you can see these little suckers growing in here. So, I'll just kind of pick these off once they get a little bigger. Um, and here you can see the remnants of a bud that I've already picked off. Because what happens is once it gets to a certain height um, or growth stage, it will really want to produce fruit because that's what the plant's trying to do. So when it gets to this stage, it will put a um, bud for a fruit right at the top of the very the top of the plant. What I'll show you is here. This is one example where if I can do this well, I'll show you guys. Here's the bud. So what's going to happen is I'm going to pick this off, but either way, the plant's already doing a natural V, natural Y or whatever you want to call it, split right at that stage. So I just come in here and pick off the bud here. <laughs> that fell. Um, and then you'll see that's what happened over here just at an earlier stage. So this is a King Arthur, it's a bell pepper versus a cayenne, which you can see it's already gone through that stage. You can see here it's even splitting even more because cayennes love to split and be a little bushier. So I do not top our pepper plants and uh, I've had very good success. Um, so I'll show uh, habaneros in a bit, which will be a very different structure in some ways, much shorter. So I'll show those in the next story.